Hey y'all, welcome back into the channel for another short but sweet and beautiful game. As you can tell from the music already, this might be a short game, but I think it's going to be incredibly impressionable and memorable for us. If you guys do not know what this game is, good, that makes two <laughs> This, that makes two of us. Uh, this recently popped up on sale for, I think like I got it for like a dollar and 99 cents or something. Um, I believe it's around 30 minutes. So like I said, it is a short game, but I think it's going to carry such weight with it. The kind of bio for it is this girl who is stuck on repeat. Her life feels the same very mundane and it's a constant routine of work of sleep spending too much time on social media things that probably a lot of us relate to um especially nowadays and so i think this game hits a very important topic and i think that it is an incredibly relatable topic and that is often what we look for in games right is not just escapism but escapism and realism. I mean, I think at least we can agree that when we are following creators or the people that we ingest their social media or there are even you guys watching this video, I hope that you guys support me because you somehow relate to me, whether it's our shared mutual love for gaming or our positive outlook on life or whatever it is, trying to find the joy in anything we play or invest our time into. I hope that we are constantly looking for relatability. And I think that that's an undersold thing in games. I mean, we talk about escapism all the time. We really do. And so maybe this isn't the game for you because maybe this makes you reflect a little bit too much on life and society right now, but that's exactly why I want to sink my teeth into it. So without further ado, I hope you guys enjoy Florence. Let's go. <laughs> it's a good day to be alive. All right, Florence. Let's get started. It is controller uh, savvy. I was going to say controller savvy. All right, let's get started, you guys. I already adjusted the volume, so I might be kind of altering it as well once we get out of the main menu, but already the music has captured my heart. I'm just sitting here. I think I'm just in awe right now because I'm like, I need to learn an instrument. I just feel like my heart beats to a 3-4 or something. I don't know. I just love music. Chapter 1, Adult Life. Oh. <sighs> Let's get started. 7. What about 5.30 in the morning? Florence, yo? Is it yo? 25 years old. Okay, so it is important to rem oh yeah, it's important to remember that. So I'm a year older than her currently. I'm about to turn 27, 7:15. I snooze every five minutes. I have alarms every five minutes. I don't know what she's doing with these 15 minute. Oh, the 30 minute snooze fest. We love to see it. No, I'm that person. You pick up my phone, like 5:30, 5:35, 5:40, 5:45, 5:50, like, and I'll do it for 30 minutes, which is so much worse than just snoozing for another 15 minutes at a minimum. Oh, we need to brush those pearly whites. Is the first thing you guys do brush your teeth? I usually eat breakfast first and then I brush my teeth. That's interesting. All right, so she gets ready in 45 minutes. That's pretty good. That's actually really amazing. Oh, social media. All right. So let's just, we're going to look at the composition here and we're going to be paying particular attention because it's shorter. I'm going to try to uh, really dive deep into this. So right away, we can see that this life that she's living is a little void of color. The color that she's seeing is actually coming from the screen, coming from the phone, seeing other people doing things that she probably thinks is their usual. But that also like, ah. Oh, it's probably a facade. It's probably not even close to what they're really doing. But either way, the color in her life right now is in other people's lives, not her own, and is in her phone. Let's switch it. These people, happy couple. I guess I should start liking. I, get, I wonder if that makes a difference. Three friends all together, kind of similar color schemes. Uh, do I like salad? Uh, great, beautiful design. We've got some beets, maybe? Are those beets of some sort? Spinach? The classic selfie with the peace sign? I don't know if that deserves a like, but I'm gonna keep it going, because I'm sure I've been guilty of it once or twice in my life. Oh, 
Oh, a selfie with friends. And it's pink. So on our train to get to work, we've now consumed about 15 minutes of social media. Uh, I'm not sure what our task is. So we can tell that she is doing an office job, assumably nine to five, and she's not happy. Like it's dreary. It's at least she has an ergonomic chair, I believe, but you can tell she's got a lot of sticky notes. She works in accounting, I suppose. Oh, we're matching the pairs. Okay, that's actually kind of cool. So yeah, it must be accounting of some sort. So 2.30, we get a call from our mom. I'm gonna answer. Nothing just work? Yeah, I know. Uh, nothing just work? I like that we're getting to make choices. Okay, I'm busy. I, I wonder if she's asking, look, so actually, even her relationships feel a little mundane. They feel normal, nothing extraordinary. Um, her shirt, her clothes, like all of the, I don't know, all the art style just combines to make it feel very boring. Uh, so her mother has a picture of both of us, so uh, I think our relationship is important, so I'm gonna have her lean into that and say, okay. I'm fine, okay. Talk to you later. It was a lot of okays, like you can see even my responses and conversations. 8.30 at night, we're watching TV. Gosh, this is gonna feel so relatable. Um... So she gets off work, she goes home, she's eating. I mean, at least she's eating relatively healthy food, right? Sushi? Get the piece of rice, get the little rice. Nothing left. Oh, this looks amazing. So she's eating to the point of being full. Watching other stuff. She goes to, she goes to bed at 11.50? That's so late. Oh my goodness. I. Mm. And then we brush our teeth, y'all. Hmm. And we rinse and repeat. I'm asleep by 1220. And we go again. Chapter two, memories. Okay, so that was our adult life is in and out. And I do want to make sure that I'm very clear about this, like where I'm at today and what I do now when I'm talking about it being relatable. I haven't always done this. I haven't always done content creation full time. Um, I used to work for a corporate company, so I still remember that feeling. Um, and even on top of doing the nine to five corporate, I was I was also streaming at the same time and always running multiple hobbies at the same time. Oh, you can just scroll. Oh, all right, vacuuming, yes, yes. <laughs> okay, so she's fighting with the vacuum. We still have these kind of dreary colors, but this, I think we're, I think we're younger. We must be younger, right? We look a little bit more youthful. Oh no, and the stacks come falling down. Oh, maybe I missed that because when I pressed A, maybe I acted it out instead of getting to see what it felt like. So we get smacked by something, but then there's something vibrant. Our memory box. Maybe we went over to our mom's house or maybe no. Okay, this is, I think this is really us in current time, but I must have been just cleaning my apartment and my box of memories comes out. And lo and behold, we start to read about our dreams and our memories and our thoughts. Yes, Florence, seven years old. Look how vibrant the colors are. It's much more cheerful and uppity and the world could be whatever you wanted it to be. There were no taxes, no cleaning your... People always ask, what do you do on your off days? I'm like, guys, it takes a lot of effort to clean a home, okay? <laughs> We can do all sorts of different colors. Look at this! <laughs> I'm gonna put a heart here. Oh, okay, hold on. Hmm. Wait a minute. I'm gonna do squares down here. I like that. And then I'm gonna make this like this. 
and make you guys beautiful paintings. Gorgeous. Uh, let's see other colors that we can work with. Oh, it changes everything. Hmm, I like greens. I like greens. Although I don't want the whole boat to be green. I liked the blue. Everything's so different. Okay, I like these colors. We're gonna do the star up here. Wait, we can just do a star. <gasps> okay, we can put a star in the sail. Hmm. That's the palette that I was originally in. No, I liked that one palette. Was that the palette? No, where's the one palette I liked? Oh, I liked that purple. Oh, watermelon. No. The base is brown. No. It keeps changing, but I'm gonna do this one. Okay, so we're gonna do pink. This is not gonna look good. <laughs> Does it double layer it? Okay, good, I didn't want it to be double layered. I need this one to not, yeah, I need it to not hit over the mark, you know? This is what my sailboat would look like if I owned one. And then a pink star. Uh, and then we'll make the back one pink too. I do like symmetry in some things, you know? Oh, I don't have any more! I've run out! No! Take it back! Take it back! Oh no! Okay, we can do this. We'll do this one then. Ah! <laughs> so blind. <laughs> the game is a bit bright. I should have turned down my brightness settings on my monitor. Okay, this is good. This is good. And then we're gonna throw on this little heart. And then... The matching base. <gasps> or we can just do the blue. Or maybe not. Okay. We'll do a nice little matching base. Beautiful. Oh, there's multiple. I'm sorry, you guys have to endure with my art. Endure my art. Oh, I like this. I like this a lot. Mm-hmm. Oh! <gasps> the symmetry. <gasps> oh, okay. Let's do a Let's do a orange base for our beautiful butterfly. A beautiful butterfly. <laughs> we could do this right here. I kind of like that, the overlapping. Uh-huh. And then we could do green up here. Although the green's not, oh wait, maybe I should flip this. Let me do the orange up here. Cause the orange up here will make more sense. And then I want this to be on top. Oh, this is going to be beautiful. Just see, wait. There we go. So we've got orange up here. Then we're going to do green hearts down here. But just to fill up the butterfly, don't worry. I know butterflies are beautiful and colorful, and this is a whole collection of weird things. But let it... All right, let me cook. Just let it happen. Surprised I haven't run out of any. Probably one last one. No. Okay, our butterfly is finished. Not yet, actually, hold on. And then I want these to go right here. It's a little bit bigger than I was expecting them to be. A bit like a peacock. Okay, wait, wait, let me move these down a little bit. Just like right there. Uh, and then these, are these little guys? Ah! A beautiful butterfly. Like even that concept, right? None of them match. None of them look like they really go together. You just didn't care because you just were using your complete imagination. Okay, now we've gotten a little bit older and this is a memory of me studying for some kind of mathematics or something that requires calculations. Am I in school or is that my mom? Oh, come on. Oh. 14 plus 4. Come on. 7. 
I may not have been in school for quite some time now, but I'm still with it, all right? Still with it. Same math problems. Clearly don't like math. <laughs> Age seven. Dressing up, playing princess. Oh, we have to move the clock. Yeah, time moved so slow. So I'm actually having, like, it, you can just see this, like, I am moving it. But it just moved so slow. I mean, think about how much you thought you could do in a day, and now you never feel like you have enough time in the day to do everything. Age 10, now we're caring about makeup. We've got phones. This is also interesting, too, because if she's 25, I don't know when this game came out, but I'm wondering what year she was born as well and when they would have received phones and stuff. I mean, I guess you can kind of tell. Like, age 10, 11, 12 is kind of when they started being on their phones more. And look, her friends are drifting apart. Wow. You can almost see the separation, right? Like, they're super close, and they're giggle, like giddy and just full of vibrance and life and then time passes and we're wearing the same school uniform or maybe it's a representation of wearing the same things like how you kind of like lose that individuality because life tells you you need to look like everybody else or you should try to have whatever's the fad or whatever is happening and the girl's caring about makeup the other girl's talking to somebody on the phone and lo and behold she starts to feel a little isolated and then you graduate right and it's time for college or for going straight into the work world. And now she's got her headphones on. Those friends are only but a memory. We're addicted to caffeine and coffee. <laughs> Sounds about right. <laughs> and she's on her phone. And age 25 comes faster than you ever would think. <laughs> and it was just a dream. Even the box is so colorful. Look, like even my mug has a flower, but the flower doesn't have any color to it. Chapter three, music. Music can bring a lot of life into your, into your home and your heart. Okay. Back on the social media grind. We've already seen that. We've seen this, but we're going to keep liking because you know what? Girls, girl, dogs. We don't even notice the people that were passing in the streets because we're glued to our phone. Oh, no, my phone's going to die. <gasps> my world, my life. What will I do? So we take off the headphones. Oh, stop. This is going to be so cool. It's getting louder and we're following this trail. I like her little boots. Man, look, and now we're starting to float. We're sprinting towards it. Look, the shades of gray are turning to blue. We're starting to see other colors. Catch all the musical notes. Look at her, she's smiling. Musical instruments and people that know like how to truly play it from their heart, just breathtaking. is in love so she takes off the headphones for a second and like we can digest and kind of like I guess not even digest I think we can dissect this later and and kind of talk about you know I think the messaging behind it's pretty clear I don't think I really have to spell it out for you guys but I think we'd be shocked to find out all of that life has to offer if only we looked around us act two 
So, act one, adult life memories music, act two, crash. Okay, so now things are a little bit more blue, but we're still kind of in that dreary cycle, right? Um, I need to match them. Oh, I'm trying to, oh, I see the focus now. We see him, look. I need to find what will bring him there. He's in focus. And then I crashed because I got distracted. <laughs> All right, we're bringing this out. Look at the lemons. <laughs> oh, my entire stuff. Mmm. I love how it sounds like we're almost underwater. And this, the music is all muffled. Okay, I'm coming into focus. Hold on. That's closer. And now we bring this one. And... Whoa! Oh, they, we were almost there. There. The yellow lemons and the yellow line on the, and the book spine. This is him. Oh my gosh, and you know like if you were to have a crash, think of how beautiful this is. Because you know how like even in the movies you're like coming to it and you would be seeing like doubles and triples of somebody when you're trying to come to it. <laughs> there, that's probably close. It's got a little bit of a, you know, scraggle. And he's helping pick up the lemons. Krish. Krish. We got his phone number. <gasps> mm. Chapter 5. I also love how we got his phone number. I like it. Take. I see. Chapter 5. First dates. Look at us in a coffee shop. And now we have more of these like brown hues, which I think they were kind of there before. But I wonder if they use these brown hues for the coffee shop. It just feels a little bit like a barista kind of color scheme. Mochas, chocolate, coffee, cafe. Look at us blushing. He's got the color coming back into our cheeks. Look at how bright his shirt is too. Like they put him in yellows and oranges. And even his text box is yellow. Okay, let's build the puzzle. <laughs> Wait, do I have to? Okay. We need to form our thought bubble back. Okay, we're forming a thought. <laughs> I love the small interaction that we do in the game, though. Annapurna, again, you know, knocking it out of the park, just constantly creating such meaningful games, truly. Okay, my thoughts coming together. Hold on, wait. There we go. I'm forming it. A little rough around the edges, but we'll see how it delivers. All right. Oh, another one. This is probably easier with the mouse and keyboard, and I'm doing a controller, which is why I'm taking so long. <laughs> Our first date seems to be going pretty well. I mean, it seems like we have a lot to talk about. And I talk back. I seem a little unsure. Queen Victoria Market. All right, so that was the first date in the coffee shop. Now, look at these blues. I feel like there's something, there's kind of a different concept happening as well. It's the same thing where maybe we're not noticing everything around us, but now it's because somebody stands before us that is just illuminating our life. And so everything else just falls into the background, but not because we're ignoring it, because we're fixated on living ourselves. They're buying some fish. Ooh, burritos. The burritos. Here we go. Mm -hmm. Gorgeous. Wait a minute. 
I also wonder if that's intentional that our thought bubbles are getting easier and easier. I think that's got to be a representation of how like conversations start to flow and it starts to feel like less and less, not that it ever should feel like like work per se, but I think when you're first starting to get to know somebody, you're trying to, you know, kind of feel each other out and see what you can say or, you know, obviously you should be yourself. Absolutely. But even just this, I feel like it kind of shows that process of how much easier it gets when you get to know somebody more and more. Yeah, he's responding instantly. And now we're at, yeah, three. I wouldn't be surprised if it goes down to just two. And we're so happy. And we're doing responses faster. And now we have these dark blues and pinks. We're in romance. Look, I'm wearing a dress now. He's got his white shirt and slacks on. Got a little cocktails flowing. Better be a Moscow mule, but it's not in the mule cup, so it can't be. I don't know. I refuse to believe mules exist outside of the cup. Now she's laughing. And we look at those like we've got kind of like these pulsing, not flowers, but just moments. Two, and look, see, yeah, that is so intentional. It's not even taking any work at all. <laughs> and also, they're now on the right side. Like, even now, it's gone down to two, but we don't have to flip them or move them. They, they appear on the right side. It's effortless. And now, look, now we're from one motion. wind blowing y'all always say i'm not a romantic but i'm in almost tears here for i don't know why <laughs> I, don't, I don't know why but look at the pink and she's so happy but i feel like it can't is it gonna be like this for i mean i feel like we're gonna go through hardness too and all right act two done dreams <laughs> Hi. She's got new colors, kind of. We're fully in blues here. He's got the ripped jeans and the, like, I got some, I think it's some combat boots or the Chelsea's. Look the way that he looks at her. They're holding hands. He's got his little yellow Converse on, too. And they've got almost matching hues now. Like, it's almost like the colors are kind of coming together. Oh, we're going... Oh, we're going to, oh, oh, he's talking about his dreams and how he wants to be a cellist. He wants to play in music halls, maybe. So now we're sharing our dreams and our inspirations and our hopes. Look at that. I don't know why it's hitting me like this. what her dreams are okay they're at a record store look they're definitely at a music store right now ah he wants to produce his own vinyl Krish <laughs> look at those pearly whites oh okay <laughs> He's got that uh, charm and wonder he wants to be. I don't even see him wanting to be like famous per se. I think he just wants to produce something and add to the world with his own creativity. <laughs> but now she's looking out the window and it feels a little somber. Maybe being around him has kind of shown her that she's not even sure what her own dreams are because she forgot how to dream. Did they break up? Oh no, my nose. No, not the time nose. She has a thought. She pulls out the memories and sees the butterfly and starts wondering what her own dreams are or her dreams associated to memories. I mean, if you think about it, like a lot of times our dreams start when we're children, right? Our dreams start when 
something in our youth impacts us to the point where we want to make a difference or we want to do something. I mean, look, she wants to be an artist. Oh, look at the colors changing and she's smiling back at herself. Mm. It's nighttime. Inspiration. So maybe they're helping champion one another on and bringing out the best in them. And now you see she's talking on the phone and she's smiling and we've got this inspiration. I do want to talk about this at the end because there is a lot to be said for, you know, he's dreaming of being a musician, she's being an artist, but I think it's really important to remind people that dreams don't have to be tied necessarily to those kind of creative outlets. Like dreams can absolutely be something that might look vastly different than in the creative realm, I, if that makes sense. It's a little bit messy. Okay, well, all right, okay. You know what, I get it. Life gets busy, things get tough. Um, just, are you smelly? Are, please tell me you're not doing the smell the shirt first before you put it on. He does have some kind of gaming equipment. I'm sorry guys, I'm so sniffles. Yes, oh, this is so satisfying. All right, clean everything up. <laughs> yes, yes, air out the apartment. Oh my goodness, yes. Clean up all of that stuff. Wait, what? Okay, hold on, I do wanna disagree with that. I don't think there's anything wrong with having an action figure. I don't think there's anything wrong with having statues of characters from video games, okay? I don't think we need to change it out for plants. I feel a poor messaging, no, no. My shoes can be nice and tidy. Uh, he played a, uh, oh, what is that? Cricket, right? His backpack, knuckle sandwich, <laughs> his boots. Oh, his socks. Yeah, we need to throw those things in the, he's got his case. Yes, pick that up. Also, maybe put a rug in here. It looks a little, I guess that's probably a carpet, but still. Oh, he was going to show her his apartment. That's why he only cleaned it because he was going to show her his apartment. Oh my goodness. You've got to be kidding me. Uh, hold on. I have to go. I have to go clear my nose. I'll be right back. So he's showing her the apartment. Ah, uh, she sees that he maybe wait. She sees something a magazine. He's talking game Academy of music. Oh no, they're going to go separate ways. Aren't they? Academy music student application. But it's away from her, I bet. Yeah, I bet it's far away. No, it's not! She's supporting him. Go. <laughs> I have to keep pressing it. <laughs> Get in there. It's so important to support the dreams of the people around you too. It's not just about your own, but if you want other people to do it for you, you need to be there to champion on other people as well. And she's in the yellow. And so we're drawing something, we're starting to sketch. She's sketching him, I would recognize that stubble anywhere. <laughs> The eyes are going to really bring it together. Hold on. Although I always will, yeah, the way he smiles. Okay, maybe I was expecting them to be bigger eyes, but yeah, they're just a little, <laughs> a little, but still. He's her sense of inspiration. Chapter eight, exploration. Oh, let's go here. Skateboarding. So we're seeing more dates. We're seeing. Oh, oh, I have to shake it. Shake it. Shake it. <laughs> like a Polaroid. Skateboard lessons. He's teaching her things that he loves. And I'm assuming she does the same. Shake it. Shake it. They traveled. Forest hike. Look at the vibrancy. The oranges. The greens. The smiles, most of all. Oh, a 
concert. Okay. Krish's music friends. Oh, okay. Maybe she's the one that likes hiking. Sushi. He never tried, yeah, first sushi. Never tried sushi before. You never forget your first. Oh my goodness, no. <laughs> the family. She met his family. Yeah. Oh. Did he meet hers? Because I will say that I wonder how much she's sharing with him. Art. Okay, they did go to an art gallery. An art gallery. But I don't see him meeting her mother. And her mother is so... Okay, but we see a lot more memories that are created. And I'm sure that that's in there, right? And now we're at work. And look at how much has happened. Look at the cat mug. And she's smiling. It's the same job, but... Act 4, groceries. You know, when it says around 30 minutes, I guess they don't think about me that's sitting here looking at like, look at all these cereal boxes. <laughs> mm. Groceries. Have they moved in together then? That's a lot of cereal. I love seeing all the off-brand cereal titles. They're hilarious. Like oats and stuff. What is the stuff? Can we talk about this? What is this stuff? Interesting. We know that this represents the thought bubbles, but now we're back to three pieces. Our conversation's moving a bit slower. Hmm. He never had to piece them together before. Yeah. Now we're having a fight. We've never seen him have to piece his, and now look. The pieces have even changed shape. It doesn't look the same. It's firing back. Sharper. I feel like the edges are getting sharper. Yeah. We're saying hurtful things to one another. He's trying to speak first. Am I trying to be? He said something. Oh my gosh. I, I'm trying to. Now we're just trying to tit for tat. Oh, this is a hard way to show this. He's winning. I might just let him, honestly. There's no use in going back and forth and back and forth. And now we're just in a tizzy. And the world is gray again. Hmm. Forgiveness. I'm trying. I'm trying to push it. There. Hmm. Which this is good. I mean, you can't it's it's not about staying in the honeymoon phase or anything like that, but I do think you need to go through discourse and you need to have hard conversations if you want to grow together. It's just how you handle those, right? So we see this resolution, but it's not like it was a bad sign that they had this disagreement. That's only natural and honestly, it'd be a little strange for it not to happen. And then it looked like cotton candy, but six months later. But they grew through it. Moving in! Ah, it's happening! It's happening! I love her little beachy shirt. Okay, but let me get this very straight. Oh, my bunny slippers. Oh, look! I know you got this cute picture and an umbrellas. Okay, flipper floppers on. Oh, I want to move all of these. Okay, flip flops up top, but can I move my own shoes? Boots on the bottom. Flip ups on top, slippers. Yeah. The slippers. <laughs> I'm gonna move the slippies over here. And those are like my Uggs of some sort. Okay, we'll do sneakies on the 
sneakers should be on the bottom. No, oh, but the boots. We'll give him the whole bottom shelf. Wait, I can't fit all of my... Oh no, I can't fit all of my shoes here. He can keep his sneakers. I'm gonna make room for him. Is he moving in with us or... We... Okay, these gotta go. Yeah, we gotta get rid of those. Those are not happening. <laughs> not my neatest organization, but it's okay. Uh, okay, I do like his. No, I love his toaster. I love the toaster. It's vibrant and happy and I love it. We can definitely move this in here, right? This should be able to place there. Ooh, storage container is beautiful. It's got a coffee press machine thing right there. No, uh, we can't put it there. Oh, well, uh, mm, spices. Oh, my tea kettle. I don't want to get rid of my tea kettle. Okay, I'll get rid of this pot. <laughs> I mean, it makes a lot of room and I know his spices are important to him. So we'll put that there. Oh, wait, is that his tea or his spices? Maybe we should put that up there too. And, oh wait, no, but that's all, that, the tea needs to be next to the tea. I don't know what this is, but I think it looks like it can be thrown out. I don't know what that is. That's definitely Nutella, that's Dane. <gasps> ketchup, how could I deprive them of ketchup? Ketchup has to go. Okay, wait. Is this soy sauce? I don't know what all of these are. Those are three, I think those are sauces. Salt and pepper can't go anywhere else? Oh, come on. Pickle drawers. Bright color things up there, relishes. Ketchup up here, but we have to get that coffee maker in the, the mix. I'll ditch this thing. I don't know what it is. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I don't know what it was. Was it a waffle maker? We can make our own waffles. What was it? We don't need it, it's fine. Oh, I need to do something about this, don't I? I think we can somehow find room for his small toothbrush. <laughs> Oh no, look at all the books. Okay, uh, I have a bike pump. That's actually important. Oh, okay, never mind. My mom and I, we can put stuff in storage. Uh, like the owl, I could, I could put the owl in storage, yeah. This is important to him. All, a lot of these things are important to him. I can put Mr. Fluffy over in storage too. Okay, I guess I have a lot of books. I guess I can put some books in storage. I should clean up anyway. I don't I don't need this many books. You know, it's I mean, look, I do. I have so many books in my But I want to make room for him and I want him to feel welcomed. Skateboarding's an activity that we've done together, so I think that's a really important for us to show that. Um His family picture needs to go somewhere. Yeah. Let's do this. I'll have two books down on the bottom shelves. And we'll put this here. This here. Weeky week. Did you hear that? And the candle, while it's important, it can go somewhere else. We gotta get this action figure in here. Although, no, I know what you guys are gonna say. Y'all are immediately gonna say that I've done too many things. Too many of, like, I've thrown away too many of my things to make room for him. He can put it in storage. Oh, but we have to make decisions. Decisions, decisions. I would say the skateboard because it's something that we both have together. And the bike pump, that makes us, you know, exercising, being outdoorsy. I think that that's important. And the couch is yellow. Look at me. I'm like, I mean her, but. <laughs> Academy of Music auditions today. He nailed it. He got us a present. <gasps> An art set. <laughs> oh. Chapter 11, happy together. 7.15, do we wake up on time? No, we're a couple that snoozes together, stays together. I love it, I love it. Definitely eating these strawberries first than the toast. They put their toast on the same plate as their berries. Guys, I've gotten absolutely wrecked for this on Twitch where they say that that is despicable for me to like put the same thing. <laughs> I say that it's perfectly normal. But the crust, I would eat the crust. 
now I have different options. Now I'm texting him. I'm not even just mindlessly scrolling social media. And the people next to me are more in color than ever. Heart. Heart and cry? Why? Uh... Sad face? <gasps> no! Okay, hearts. Three hearts. Full health. Okay. <laughs> you know you love each other when you're texting about nothing. <laughs> and now I'm not even... It doesn't feel like I'm even doing work. The day's flying by. And we're cooking? Oh, oh. Okay, this would be flying all over the place. I don't recommend cooking with me. Look at the background. I'm learning to cook now too. Yeah, I didn't have to do any inputs. I didn't even have to think about work. It just flies by. He's practicing his music and I'm painting. Or color penciling. I started in black and white and now I'm learning to use colors and... Oh. we sleep. Act four. Now act five, routine. I am very interested to see how they kind of summarize this because, you know, a lot of times people feel like it turns to routine even when you do have another person in your life. You know, it's broken it when we were first by ourselves and we felt like it was day in and day out. But even at some point with being a couple or being, or even living with another person, there comes a point where you have to like ensure that you're still putting in work. So it doesn't feel like it once did, you know, where it feels like it's fallen flat. And I'm not saying to put enough pressure where it feels like you have to be constantly putting work into it, but yeah. So one year later, chapter 12, 13. Okay. That I feel like is so relatable as well is, you know, uh, who's fall? I get falling asleep cuddling, but after time, it's hot. I don't, don't touch me. Don't touch me. I want to sleep on this side. I don't want to cuddle. I don't know. <laughs> not even, that would be me before it even begins though. We're not cuddling even in the like, no, I just feel like, and now we're just kind of tired. He's grown a beard and I'm starting to think about my job again. The days are feeling a little bit more like they're dragging. So we're falling back into a routine. He's playing music, but maybe it's not bringing the same liveliness. You don't have to find a boyfriend for me? What? Did they break up? They didn't break up. I'm fine. I know. Talk to you later. Interesting. But they didn't break up. Now we're not doing that cooking together. Now we're just eating pizza. Again, I don't see the problem, but... We're probably eating more than we should, too. And we're sleepy. Erosion. Oh, no. Oh. Oh. Oh, but this is showing, yeah. So this was us in that moment. This is the beginning. And time is passing and we're still... You can see it's like pink and vibrant and fuchsia and magenta and all these bright colors. And then it's dulling a little bit. It's still these kind of more pale colors and tones and... Now we're, our clothes are getting dreary, he's grown a beard. And now I'm back on my phone and he's eating a burger or something. And we're further apart than ever. I mean, relatively speaking, considering the beginning of the... Oh... This is sad. This is so sad. Mm. 
You technically don't have to even uh, uncover the whole painting. Even just hear the tone. It's the same beat too. Even the music feels routine. Doesn't have the same life to it. Same notes, same things. She hasn't picked up her paint set in so long. Dust. Just sits there and gets covered. By notes, by mail, by bills. Old coffee mugs, but that coffee mug now has color in it. Remember, it didn't used to. It's still there, like the color in the life is still there. You just have to cut through the bow. <laughs> Chapter 14, fight. We're upset, things aren't going well. Hmm. Our whole color scheme is gray. That mug is just black and white now. Washing dishes. And now our thought bubble is straight up just red. And now we're saying things we can't take back. I don't want to do it. Our things are all jumbled up. They're all on different sides. And he is firing back fast. You can see the bags under her eyes, and now they're getting sharper. They're not quite the stabs, but they're definitely jabs. And here's where it gets the sharp edges. Just driving the knife in. And he does it right back. Oh no. Do I have to try to win or can I let him say it all? I want to see what happens if it tips over the other way. No, I gotta fight for it. I gotta, f well, no, I don't know if I'm fighting for it or if I'm doing the wrong thing. Not quite sure. I don't like this. I couldn't just sit there. I, I don't know. Maybe the right thing to do was to just let him say it all. And she's so sad. In the cold shower. And they couldn't be further apart than ever. Hmm. But we're trying to piece it back together. Even in all of this, we're still trying, right? No, there's a complete separation. Oh, it's this way. And now we turn from one another. It doesn't even fit together anymore. No. It doesn't even fit together. Drifting. Mm. She's going to be on this side. The pieces never quite add up. Whoa, I got to grab them. They're full. Yeah, look at that. They're literally drifting apart. You have to keep them in the shot. Otherwise, you'll lose them. I got to fight for this. No, 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 come on, right there, right there, no, that goes there, that's her other piece of her hand, I need to find, I mean, I know it can only, it can only go so far, uh, that's his hand right there, he has another hand somewhere right there, no, oh no, oh no, get back here, What a beautiful, like, uh, demonstration of this. The faster I do this, the more it's drifting apart. There, there's a hand. There's that piece and that hand. There's that. Right there. That 
that was beautifully done. No. No. It's raining. They're moving now. Um. Those are his shoes. I think that's everything of his. Wait, am I moving out or is he moving out? I think he is moving out. I know I'm doing it like willingly, but it's like, I, I don't know what else. I mean, I have to progress the game. Hey, that thing stayed. That thing stayed. I really did bring all of his kitchen stuff in, didn't I? Man, we don't even know what happened. Look, she framed the butterfly there though. Wait, some of these things I didn't, like this? This, I did move back to being my item. Hmm, and that got back on the shelf. I guess things moved, even still. slowly start to erase the memory not ever erase it like you don't forget but I guess every day you stop seeing them as clearly as you once did to it. She's at the beach. The sushi place that they once were. All of the spots that they had been to, he's gone. And everywhere that she went with him, you think about that person. It takes a long time to get back to normal. The sheets look like raindrops. call my mom instead of just being the one to answer. <sighs> He's just a ghost next to her. Oh my god. I'm trying to stop in my tracks and I can't. And slowly... His memory fades. This is, um, visually such a probably true, true vision for how it feels when you've loved and you've lost. Um, or had to move on or gone through a breakup or just this. It feels exactly. Chapter 19, wake up. Hmm. 
but I still need to find and follow my dreams even without that person there. We still have to, we can still do this. We didn't. Mm. I think that is how it's gonna, oh, I, yeah, I hope this is actually, I, I feel like I know where it's headed and I hope it's headed where I think it is. She decides to paint again. And even though I went through a loss, I still at the same time gained myself. And that's where I was wondering if this was going to end is, yeah, the relationship was great and he helped inspire us and remind us to dream again. But our dream couldn't be solely wrapped up in him alone. And we needed to find and make our own path and look, she's getting more artwork on there and the leaf is growing or the tree is growing. She's changed and she found her own happiness. And it wasn't tethered to a person and like, yeah, it's so beautiful. Cooking with mom. She's hanging out with her mom again. Second prize at an art concert. Sketch club. She started a sketch club or joined one and made friends again. Loaf, she got a cat. And she made a shop to sell her prints. <laughs> Sold. Oh my gosh, she's going viral. She, and here's the other thing too. Oh, there's something beautiful about this too, which is she utilized social media that at first was kind of keeping her caged in and keeping her from noticing what there was out there. She's harnessed it. She's used it. Like social media is not necessarily the bad thing it's how you use it it's it's a tool like any other thing in our life and you determine how it uses you or you use it <laughs> this is phenomenal this story t moving on <laughs> She's quitting her job. <laughs> I'm taking my stapler. Hell yeah. This is my calculator too. <laughs> the mug. I actually relate to this game so much. A picture of them. Great day with Krish. she puts it in there and instead of throwing it away like we did when we first broke up and first ended things in anger she's holding on to it because he did play such an instrumental point in her life like if that wasn't nothing it's not like like yes the ghost fades and the memory fades but they still leave an, an impact on you like they still did something a gallery <laughs> and her gallery is filled with just gorgeous pieces like bright pieces happy pieces she's talking with people <laughs> she's meeting all sorts of people making sales and you know what She's showing other people the brightness that life can have in it. And look at her studio. I'm all sniffles because I'm trying not to cry. <laughs> look at the cat! Okay, I really, really, really liked that. <laughs> that was...
phenomenal. <laughs> um, a story about mountains. I want to see how many people played a part in this. If was it one artist? Wow, four, okay. Music, one person. Music supervision, sound design. Narrative design consultant. Mags, Brooke Mags. Animation, Marigold. Additional visual development. That. This is why I love trying different games and new games and games that I would never ever try if it weren't for you guys and recommending this. I, I think it was one of you guys that had recommended this on one of the other short games. And you must have known, maybe you guys are starting to know me just a little bit. I think you might know a thing or two about me and maybe what I like and what makes me emotional. Just phenomenal. The storytelling, I think, there's so much that you can pull from this too, and you can fixate on things that probably are very specific to you. Um, I think each and every person is gonna pull something different from that for themselves. And honestly, that story probably feels closer to anybody who has gone through any of those moments in life, who has loved and, I think this is gonna take me back to the main screen who has thank you for playing oh there was a gallery um i was wondering how that story was gonna go because we start with this girl let me go to the gallery just so some music's playing in the background or something wow it's bright um we start with this girl that's life feels the same predominantly the same day in day out she Really, if you think about it, she doesn't have a lot of friends from that, what we can tell. Her job is kind of everything, because I think that was kind of told by, you know, after work, she goes home, she's getting takeout, and she's watching movies until 8.30 or 11 or at night, and in every one of these chapters, I actually understand and I feel like I have been there and I have felt similar feelings, and I said this earlier on in the game but like where I'm at now in my life is not where I was when I was 18 when I was 20 when I was 25 like even the difference in a year since going full-time with what I do now is dramatically different um she also is in a very important time in her life I mean 25 the age of 25 you know you're you've seen a little bit like you've seen a little bit but you're still so young and I would almost say it's kind of heartbreaking to be that young and to feel like life has so little to offer or to feel like there is not a lot going on for you or every day to feel the same at the age of 25. I feel like there's just a sadness in that and I'm sure there's so many of us that can relate to that. But as the story progresses, yes, she meets this person and love is in like, it is just you feel infatuated to the bone where you feel like you see the world through a completely different perspective. And that's what this person did for her. That's what, was it uh, Krish, Krish, Kish? He turned her world upside down. He showed her that you could see it through a different lens and that it's what you make of it. And there were trials and tribulations and she had hard moments. I think that was one thing that I was interested to see how the game handled this because even in her relationship with him, she did find inspiration and she learned to pick back up being an artist and that's what she ended up doing with her life. However, at the same time, she, a lot of their relationship was, I think, driven by him showing her his world. And she was still trying to figure out what she was bringing to the table. I think, you know, there was a moment where I was like, I wonder what happened between them. But to be completely honest, I think you're, she's just young. She dated him when she was so, so young. And she was probably still finding out her identity. And, you know, I like the lesson in that too, because I don't know if you guys have been there, but just because you love somebody with your whole heart doesn't mean it's enough. And that might be one of the 
hardest things to realize as you get older is sometimes, unfortunately, loving somebody with every fiber in your being just isn't enough. And that's a really hard lesson to learn. And she did learn it. And she came out on the other side and she navigated through it. She didn't fall back in. Like, they fell into routine. I don't think it was the routine of their relationship that destroyed their relationship. I think there were so many other things that probably contributed to that. I think visually it could appear like that because where was it? You know, they renamed that chapter routine and routine made them maybe realize maybe they weren't right for each other because it is important to remember when you first meet somebody, sparks are flying and there are rose colored glasses. Every single relationship is going to be different. And so I'm not going to sit here and say that some people don't have a honeymoon phase. I have met older couples that have been together for like 40 plus years and they still look at their like loved one the same way they did when they first met them. There are people that just make it work and are different. And maybe it's because they, they stop trying to make their relationship look how society wants you to make it look. Maybe they just focus on one another and they're able to somehow wade through all of the chaos that is life. But inevitably also, I think what impacted their relationship is life. There's so many things that happen, bills, um, financial struggles, uh, just differences, your expectations. Each person comes to the table with their own expectations of what they expect the other person to be based off how they were raised. Your ideals, your values, everything plays such a big factor. And like I said, sometimes love isn't enough. Like it isn't enough just to simply love somebody with your whole heart. So she goes through this heartbreak and again at a young age. And this time she doesn't fall back into routine. She does, she allows herself. I feel like there was a moment where she allows herself. Oh, these are, um, these are concept arts and things. She allows herself to feel it. She doesn't, she doesn't just move on. You know, she allows herself to sit in that sadness, that scene where the rain is coming down and she's just like holding her knees and just crying. And then there's the moment where you pull the memories of him, they fade and his ghost fades and everything, but then she moves through it. And she realizes that, yeah, maybe he was what helped her identify that, you know, she had those dreams and inspirations and goals. And so in that way, he will always live on. And I think that's why she keeps that Polaroid is he will always have played such an important point in her life, but it wasn't for a long time. Um, Wicked, I love Wicked so much. And there's the song where it's like, um, oh, I have been changed for the better because I knew you. And the whole concept of it is they know that they're not gonna be in each other's life for forever, but they will always remember one another. And because they knew one another, their trajectory changed and her entire trajectory changed because of one person. So, and it doesn't have to be a lover. It doesn't have to be a relationship. It can be a friendship. Your entire trajectory could change because of somebody that you meet tomorrow. And maybe I'm getting like super, you know, carpe diem, seize the day, whatever you want to, I don't know. Maybe I'm just getting like very invested in this, but I do think that there's so many good lessons in this and she moves on. And then the tool that she had been, um, she had kind of fallen victim to, maybe that's the wrong way of putting it, but the tool that had consumed her at one point became a tool to, she utilized it and she expanded her business and she grew from it and she grew, she developed, she saw what was in front of her and she decided to make a difference. She got out of her situation that felt like a routine and that doesn't mean, like I talk about this all the time, just because you're doing your dream job doesn't make it less of a job. Like there's still going to be moments where you hate an aspect about it or you get frustrated at it or you're stressed. Gosh, I wish if somebody had told me like, if you have your dream job, then you will no longer have stress. They're kidding themselves. All right. They're crazy. It's just not true. There's always going to be trials in anything that you do, whether it's a dream job or not. Um, I did touch on this earlier in the game, but I do think it's really important to remember that this isn't, I don't think this is saying like 
find out what you love to do and then invest everything into it. I actually am a proponent for like, I enjoyed my corporate time as well. Um, I love what I do now and I would not change it for the world, like taking that leap of faith. But it also, it also is hard. It depends on where you're at. I talk about it like I was in a very privileged state to where I could make that risk and not everybody can. Sometimes you have so many people depending on you. You might have loved ones that financially depend on you and you just can't take that risk. And so I'm not sitting here being like, take that risk, just jump in and do whatever you love to do, like make a job out of it. No, I don't actually think that necessarily works. I think you can't just see something you love to do and all of a sudden do it. Like you love watching football, but that doesn't mean you would make a good football player, right? So I don't want to like, I don't want to dive into this too far and I don't want you guys to get the wrong kind of message about this. I think more than anything, I'm not trying to teach you guys anything. I'm just simply trying to tell you guys the things that I saw in it that I related to and that I feel so deeply bound to and why I think that this is such a beautiful story. I like that it didn't end with this happy ending of she ends up with the guy and they're happy and everything's better and they run off into the sunset and it's happily ever after because that doesn't happen for a lot of people. And even for the people that do find somebody and you wanna go through the rest of your life with somebody, that doesn't mean it's gonna be easy. That doesn't mean that it's gonna go off into the sunset. So I think more than anything, this game Florence presented the peaks and the valleys of life. And if there is a single takeaway, I guess the crux of this to me is you're in control of it. From what you consume, to how you use it, to the tools at your disposal, to what you do, there is so much accountability that you have to claim and that you can then use to make the rest of your life feel more vibrant or to feel more routine. Your choices, your disciplines, the things that you do today affect tomorrow and will affect a million more days in the future. And that is like evident here. Even the people that you meet, the friendships you make along the way, the connections you carry through with you will have lasting impacts beyond just what you can see in this one moment. So have some self-awareness, have self-accountability. And I hope that we can all, you know, continue to try to live more vibrant lives. I don't know, but this is super emotional for me, but this hit a huge note in me. I think this just feels beautiful. It was beautifully told. I talked more about my perspective than I think I ever have in a single game with you guys. And this was an hour. I think they say the average playthrough is 30 minutes. I was able to grab all of that out of an hour of content and just gorgeous music, gorgeous art. I couldn't recommend the game anymore. Um, I know these games kind of feel a little interesting for me to recommend because, you know, you've seen the story. Now you've heard it through my perspective. Why would you want to play it through yourself? And maybe you're not going to do it, but maybe you just want to support the creators and let them know in any way possible that they did something phenomenal. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys enjoyed my TED talk. Welcome back. <laughs> No, all jokes aside, I, I hope you guys got to understand a little bit more about me as well. Um, I, I don't do like Q&A videos. I don't do a whole lot. I know um, to some people I might seem very private. I just have a lot of, I, I think I've drawn a lot of boundaries of what I'm willing to do, but I always want you guys to, I want you guys to get a sense of my heart and who I am and how I am through my analyze, like I guess through my analysis of games and through my Con um, consumption of games because I'm a gaming content creator. I, I'm not going to sit here and try to present different ideas or tell you guys about fitness or anything like that because that's not what my content is centered around. It's centered around games and so if you guys can get an idea of my personality or who I am or things about that because I relate to a game then that is my goal. You know, and I'm not saying I'm never going to do a Q&A or anything like that, but I just, I really do hope that you guys got to know a little bit more about me and hearing my thoughts and feelings um, and why this game is special to me now. And I hope you guys go support them in whatever way you guys see fit. But thank you also for supporting me. And I will see you guys in the next short but sweet game. Bye, YouTube.